Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to the Lathrixian Raiders. In today's video, we are going to start off by using the armor we unlocked from the previous video. This, of course, is the Turtle Dove's armor, which gives lift in addition to being decently defensive. It's about on par with the lowest steel armor, I think it's a little bit better than that, but once again, it gives lift, meaning you don't need as many lift elements, which means you can make a much smaller craft, a much more compact craft, and honestly, it's just something I've not used before, so I would like to see how good it actually is. On top of this, we're going to use a brand new troop type. Now if we go to design a ship, we are indeed making this a carrier. We are using it as a boarding craft and a boarding craft only. It's not going to be used for ramming or anything like that. The only weapons it's going to have are most likely just the harpoon guns, maybe a couple of muskets, because as soon as you add a harpoon gun, Yep, you need ammunition on the craft, so that advantage is instantly gone. You need ammo, so you may as well add a musket just to defend against enemy troops. Shoots troops and planes within 42 meters. So then, let's have a quick look-see at the troop types. So here are the three different choices we have. We have the Marines, which are our bog-standard troop. We've been using them already. We have eight Marines from a single barracks, and they are decent. They will jump to the target, sometimes jumping to their death, but they do the same job as the other two, and they do it pretty well, especially since we have the Lion on our crest, which means they have, I think, 50% extra reload speed? So minus 50% reload speed? They reload faster, is what I'm trying to say there. But then we have these two more elite options. First of all, we have these, which use grappling hooks. Now, grappling hooks are great, because it means they can't jump to their death, and I believe they also have increased range. So they always get to the target, unless they're being shot at and then, you know, killed like everything else. But the cost is we only get four of these per barracks. Eight versus four, and I don't think there's much difference at all when it comes to power level. I'm actually going to look that up after this clip just to make sure, but I believe their power level is basically on par. What you're paying for is how easily they get to the target. And then finally, we have the Air Dragoons, which use Suspendium backpacks, essentially jetpacks. They will fly to the enemy and then land. This is fantastic because it can be done at any range, and even if the enemy gets a little bit too far away, they're just going to fly to the target anyway. That's really, really good. The problem is, you only get three of them, and they can still be shot down just like every other troop, and they're not that fast. I've actually had very little success using these. I originally wanted to use these on the old Fire Ant, on the old um, Siege Ant that I used in the previous season, but they just weren't good enough. So I'm really leaning towards using these instead, seeing how good the grappling hooks are. And we can even use the harpoon gun as well. So we stick to the enemy. I think that's probably the best. It's also the best of both worlds. It's more elite, but it's got four of them rather than only three. Time for a very, very silly test. So, I've done this test before using the Air Dragoons, and we've managed to get down to three of the enemy vehicles' uh, buildings captured, and then the fourth one, the Air Dragoons, were finally killed. How far can just the regular Marines get? As soon as you have control, okay, I'll just pause that, and then I'll keep on doing that over and over again until it's all over. You see, you could have walked down like you did previously, and then go across. Or you probably could jump, honestly, but nope, you are now stuck. I have no way of controlling these. That is something the Air Dragoons didn't have an issue with. Neither did the Grenadiers. Only you. Only you can't do this. So I think I'm definitely going with either the Dragoons or I'm going to use Grappling Hooks. I don't think I'm going to use the regular Marines. I can't see much of a difference on their power level, but this, just this, proves why I don't want to use regular Marines anymore. Why can't I control you? <laughs> yeah, we're done. We're just done. So we're going to go with three of these barracks, which gives us 12 units, and then with armor, we're going to swap over to shell armor. There we are, and we are already flying, all by itself, which is really, really good. In terms of weapons, all I want 
is the harpoon. Now, the reason why it's all unlocked right now is because we're in the editor, we're not in the campaign. Once we go back to the campaign, obviously, that's when we'll start building the stuff. I could have one on either side. That would be interesting. No, I feel like that's going to be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Just go with that. Then we just need some people on board, and we need a little bit more lift. The service ceiling is 100, which means right now we can't capture enemy aircraft, which is a bit of a limitation. Let's get going then with the build. So, first up, what I really want, well, what we really need is a fire point, and we want a coal store. Now, I would go with the extinguisher instead, but right now we just don't have that tech, so we are going with the regular fire point. We can always alter that later. And then, a regular chamber there. And perhaps, I am very tempted to maybe add one of the smaller versions, like down here. Just because I never use these, and I think that would be interesting. I'll decide that in a moment. The reason is, I want a sort of ship shape for once. So we are going to be using, in propulsion, the mainsail. So perhaps something like this. Maybe if we put that like there, then we can bulk this up. Then bring it down, supply hatches there, then supply hatches at the front. That looks okay. Yeah, let's go with that. And then we could add one of these tanks here, because even if that detonates, it's just going to destroy one of the barracks. And normally the troops are already out and about long before that gets destroyed. As long as there's something underneath. Or I could put one here and then have a sort of flat front. This would allow us to have several supply hatches there, along with just a nice surface area for these guys to jump off. Not sure about that, but I definitely want to use the small chamber. So let's put that maybe here, or there, or here, or there, or here. Possibly there. New plan of action. Okay, we're putting the coal down there because I think this will look really nice. Or at least I'm hoping it will look nice because I'm going to have to move things around, which is always annoying. Pop that there. Yeah, that looks so much better. It gives more, well, just things going on in that area. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I could add a small keel. And by keel, I meant say bow there. Apparently, me and words today are just not the best of friends. Because normally, I'm so good at speaking. Just doing a quick test, making sure this works. Hello. And you can go up and avoid their fire. As our units board the craft. And we win. Okay, good. The blight works. And currently it looks like this. I mean, it looks like a ship at least, right? And it does indeed have the harpoon gun at the front. I think this might be how it ends up looking in the end. It looks terrible from, from the outside, though. Yep. Red does not work very well with the shell colour, I've got to be honest. That just looks disgusting. It looks like flesh. It's the flesh ship. Since it's going to be so expensive and honestly inefficient anyway, I've decided to add one more barracks. So now we have four barracks, so this thing should be able to pretty much take over everything. Hopefully. Let's just spawn it in the campaign and find out. We get to the campaign, we start building, and instantly we're under attack. Hello there. You have flamers, okay. So if we're lucky, we'll hit those, and that should give us the victory. Okay, well, we destroyed one, and apparently, they have boarding crew. And we are stuck. Still stuck. Okay, there we go. We should be able to defeat one single unit. There we are, nice and easily. And let's try again, and let's get to the flamer. Nope, let's get everything else instead. And we are victorious. And then we simply surrendered, which is incredibly annoying. Oh, look, a Stone Guardian. We should keep on destroying those. They gave us lots of money last time. As soon as you have more derp darts. Oh, yeah, we have these guys as well to mess around with. Completely forgot about that. Okay, well, for now, though, derp darts, please collect up. I want to attack those Guardians. And let's send you guys over here. I thought that have no protection. Apparently, I'm wrong. No, I'm correct. Don't think that's going to be us for some reason. Lovely to see. And let's just send one of you as a spy, because I can't bother to send an actual spy over to here, whilst everything else is being built still. Oh yeah, down here. Do I want you to stay here? You could start taking over 
yeah, if you can all collectively take over this, that means we have some control down here. And in fact, on the few times I think I'll start building some buildings to maintain a foothold. Yeah. Go and take over the Isles. Okay, nothing too special over here, which is good. So we can take this from the enemy and weaken them financially. You move there. Whee! Okay, go ahead and capture. Would be nice if you could get unstuck. Fantastic. Oh dear, should have flipped with the movement. That did not end yet. That didn't go well. So, um, that was my fault. Can you jump? Nope, you're just going to stand there, aren't you? So, yeah. I just wish if the boarding failed like that, if you could make them go back in. I think they're going to win now. I mean, they are on fire, so I guess it's... Never mind, we win. We did lose the um, derp dart, though, so we do need to make some more of those. Still making the blight. Hello there, tiny little rocket boys. Whee! So apparently one of you did actually hit. It's kind of annoying. Ah, and I can't control this one because it has no control center. But, it still works. Do I ram it or do I let the missiles do the work? I don't really want to get hit by friendly fire and this thing seems to be less than accurate. A very gentle hit there. Better. There we go. And a victory. Hello there. We too are a boarding craft. However, unlike you, we don't have fire. But what I'm going to do is set up our borders first. Then I'm going to move nice and close. Yep, we have more boarding crew than you. Therefore, we win. Lovely. And apparently we are under attack from two separate empires to the west. That is very annoying. Very rude of them, honestly. Sending the brave to be annoying, plus to see what they have. <sighs> no other way around. Brave, there you go this way. Why can I never get that right? Thankfully it's no problem. Okay, we've just reached here, which is great. I'm probably just going to send this guy in, since this guy is a boarder and just try and board the thing. It's mostly just rifles anyway. So, just you guys stay back. Hopefully this should win. Get to there. The balloons are so being knocked out, though. Now they do have guards. There we are. Lovely. And that means we even get our first building down here for free. Fantastic. Now this might be dangerous. This tower here is sending these guys and we can't fight them off using the derp dart. But if we can take out the tower before they can kill us, it doesn't really matter all that much now, does it? Hello. And boarding crew go in. Lovely. And captured. Fantastic. Welcome to the Legion. And we shall just continue to attack. But first, this. Okay, this should be quite easy for us. If the Derp Dark can do this, this should do it as well. You move here. Doop -doop -doop. Now, it does have one rocket on the back. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Did none of those use the grapple? I guess they didn't need to. I just thought they always used it. That was weird. Still survived, yep. No actual damage which we needed to repair. A bit of the armor was destroyed, but that was it. And that's why this will outdo the derp dart over time. We could have made it cheaper. We could have made it more efficient, but let's face it. It's me and I like my certain design style, which is admittedly a derpy one, but that's just the magic that is me. Okay, may change your direction at the last second. Hello. Okay, this should be an auto win. Nope. Probably won't just surrender, but it will surrender once I'm behind it. Yield. 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 There we go. 
<laughs> I love the fact that works. It's like an oil platform. That's cool. And suddenly fire. Could have boarded, but fire. Yeah, we need to make our own flamer very, very, very soon. I forgot how much I love fire. You're going home, so I'm going to skip ahead and attack that. Man, we are making a really messed up looking map up here. Also, we still haven't done anything down here other than just attack this. Let's um, finish off these guys. That'll be easier. What's this? Uh, Life Action Raiders versus that. Okay. If you hear a noise in the background, that is my frogs currently going mad. Boop. And an invade. Oh. We were victorious, at least. But we did lose the derp tart in the process. Oh, this should be okay again. Just move your butt over there, please. And we have enough crew, we should win this, whereas the derp dart lost. Yep, there we go. Much better. An actual boarding craft that just boards. And doesn't die. Every single time, which is pretty nice. I don't think boarding this is going to be successful, but by the looks of things, they have a bridge here and a bridge there. Yeah, in this one, actual destruction might be a lot easier. Oh, you're moving to defend. Maybe not then. Today has been a day of almost continuous attacks. Hello. Hello. Got. Ready, guys. You can't make it to the... I'm stuck. Yep, uh, of course I am. But you can jump from the... Okay, sure. Sure. I'm not complaining anymore about that. We really need to move to the grappling hooks for everything. Oh, look. A little, um... Airport. That's cool. That is cool. Okay, you go down there as fast as possible, please. Because those planes will kill you. And board. Ow. Excellent. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Legion. Uh, change of plan. Move here instead. Nope. Everyone has something to defend them with. Okay. Body slam and boarding and ours. Lovely. You're going to attack, that's fine then. We'll invade what you were defending. And now we're taking over the last of this guy's land, which is fine. Don't know why I called an empire a guy there, but still. Hello. Why are half my boarding crew going over here? I have no idea. <laughs> That's a that was weird. Okay, well, we still win anyway. Lovely maintenance cost minus. Sadly we can't have both of these, otherwise I would. So what do we want next? Um different pro different um, propulsion would be nice. Plus then we can maybe make some tanks before the end of this. Did only three of you survive? Huh. Might lose this one. Yeah. Must have got shot down on the way. That was annoying. Well, we can always send in more invasion forces. We do certainly have enough of them. Oh, I almost didn't see you down there. Hello. Are you ready to burn? You're a bit stuck down there, aren't you? Can still flip though, which is a bit annoying. Toasty, toasty. Now you will win that in the boarding, but it should weaken you enough that this goes even faster. Can something just break yet? Yeah, thank you. Decent armor is so good versus flamers. Oh, we've lost our control. Okay, we lose this, so we're gonna flee. So that the Brave can go elsewhere, and then it'll just attack again. Wait, we lost it! 
Oh, I guess we did lose the control, but I didn't expect. Okay, okay, that was me misunderstanding the rules. Hello. Excellent. Sure, attack that blindly. Maybe it'll go well, maybe it'll go terribly. We'll find out soon enough. You can go and defend there. Okay, that blight's going up here. In fact, I'm going to change target to here instead. And this blight is going down to here. Good or good? Okay, so the guy at the back is definitely the scariest. So, what I'm going to do is send one of you on your own to take that. Then the other one to take the front. Hopefully that'll go okay. La di da di da. Hello. Start boarding. Hello. Start boarding. And send your boarding forces that way. Oh, look at them go! When they work, they certainly work. Okay, and once again, you guys send your forces that way, and you as well. Glorious. Everything captured. Well done, Derp Darts. Now we are about to intercept, and there we go. Oh, it's one of you. That may not end well for us. Okay, you're going way too far. If I just try to ram you then, you can probably turn around and just kill us. Expected you to continue moving. Why do you move in such weird ways? There we are. Stop it from turning. And board. Welcome to the Legion. Now you two together can go and attack that. Lovely. Wow, we have expanded our influence this episode. A few little losses here and there, but overall, nothing's going just fine. This is probably going to go terribly. Um, okay. Sun's coming from the east, which is a bit annoying. But I think we can probably just take these two over. Yeah, they're, ju they're just as strong on both sides, but they only have rifles. We'll take out the balloons, won't take out the main body. Hello. I am amazed they can't... They really can't board from there. Also, I'm apparently stuck on something. No idea what I'm stuck on. If I try to move up, I'm stuck. Left, I'm stuck. No idea. Maybe that tree? Don't know. Either way, it worked out for the best. So no real problem. One second. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This was checking out if these guys were weak enough to take over with just a single derp dart. No, they're not. Am I still going to attack anyway? Yes, I am. The good thing is, these seem to be stronger on the left than they are on the right. So, if we're lucky, goodbye to my nose. We could board this, take over this, and then continue. But sadly, we lost our controls. I still feel like that's potentially weak enough to be captured by a single derp dart. So I'm going to try that again. Though you're going to get there first. Okay. Another little airport. That's fine. You... Stay back. Now you get here. You're going to move about here because your Gatling guns can kill the planes. Or can't they? Oh wait, no, they're flamers, aren't they? Whoops. Well, I still think they can fire at the planes though. So, same idea, just to uh, get a bit closer. Oh no, no, they are Gatling. Yeah, one Gatling, one flamer. Boarding's in process. No, boarding failed. One of the plane's already dead, though. And the other one will die if it keeps on doing that. Yep, there we go. So, just kill the thing. Not exactly as clean as I'd hoped. And now we're under attack. Oh, that looks nice. See, that actually looks like a ship. Unlike ours. Yep, this is going to work out. We kind of singed it a little bit, but nope. That is definitely a loss. In a while. 
There we go. You might actually be able to win if you ram straight away. Uh, derp darts, you can move back as well in case that fails. Hello there. Okay, so let's try and avoid that weapon as soon as possible, please. So you go down to here. Ooh, that's a lot of firepower. Okay, now you need to get out of there. All of them gone? Okay, good. Now get out of there and try to be as far away as possible. Take as little damage as possible, please. Okay, first one's boarded. As soon as it gives me command, thank you. Next one. Lovely. Oh, I've lost control. Darn it, they took out the command bridge, which means I can't control and then send our forces on. Flee. Don't lose the blight over that. Darn, so lucky for the enemy to hit there. Because I couldn't give the building commands, I couldn't send our borders to the next target, so they just sat there. That would have worked as well. We had loads of them left. Ow. Why do you just not use your own grappling hook sometimes? You need to be repaired though now. Admittedly, you are surviving far better than the derp dart and such. So you are doing the job just fine. That time I was being a bit lazy. Which I think is an indicator I should stop playing soon. I'm still remarkably tired as you can probably tell. But my focus is now going as well. Which is never a good thing. But I am having a lot of fun. That's the thing. Lots of fun indeed. You could potentially win. Especially since most of their weapons can't fire down. Ooh, lovely. Hello. Wish this thing got commands a bit faster. Also really wish that thing didn't have a Gatling gun. There we are. Ow, ow, ow. See, that's just being rude. On the upside, I got an achievement. A convenient perch. So... I think that's fine. We are definitely losing this. But I will let it fight out, you never know. Hello, enemy boarding craft. We could shoot down the boarding craft, we are using rifles. But there's no chance we're killing that tank. Hello there, island, and you're sending away your protection for some reason. That was weird. Either way, I'm happy enough to take your craft. And we are tethered. Ah, We're friends forever now. Spider-Men, go! <laughs> well, that was easy. Now here's a question. If I just flee now, will I take what I just captured with me? Yes, I will. Now, there's a reason for that. I don't want to risk this ship we just captured, and it had all of our boarding crew. It's terrible as a boarding craft. It can only move once every 15 seconds. So what I'm going to do is separate you both. You go back there, get your troops back, and then we'll invade again. So that was a raid to weaken the enemy. Let's grab the tracks. Hello again, island. We're going to do something stupid. I want to take this one first. The reason is, I've had issues with the rest of them before, moving troops from one place to the next. Oh, can you please untether? Thank you. Okay, you guys now move to the next one. You go as far away as possible to make them as inaccurate as possible, please. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Just keep doing that, please. Okay, we're losing a few to being shot. Yeah, that was it. Hmm, maybe I should go from the back going forwards. It would also mean we have the stronger craft. The enemy ran out of ammo really fast. We just outlasted them. That was really cheesy even by my book, but okay, we are now the victor, which means... 
We now have one more shipyard, and with this, we're going to control the entire island. Lovely. I think I just surrendered. Good. Okay, well done there, Blight. You took over an entire nation. I'm proud of you. Now, the enemy have been getting some of their stuff back as well, so all I need to do is get some forces ready to start invading. So, really, that means more Blights and even more... Let's put you down there to make a move. And even more derp darts. Well, with that, I am all out of time for today's video. And I can see a face in the map. That's an eye. Then that, that's sort of a nose. And then this is the mouth. And weird chin. I'm not going to be able to unsee that. So we definitely need to take this soon. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that airships conquer the skies as a series you wish to see continued in the future. Now, I do want to apologise if I sounded a bit grumpy during this video. I have been a bit low energy again this week. The insomnia is getting better after going to the doctors and then to the hospital to get stuff. But it's still here to stay. Sadly, it is chronic insomnia. I've been fighting this my whole life, and apparently it's just going to be a bad month. Still, getting better. Hopefully by the end of the month I'll be back to normal, and my chipper happy self. Because I'm totally like that. Anyway, thank you for watching. This was Rambly. Goodbye.